it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episodes three and four of Baka Monogatari. Okay, I'm trying to remember what I had said the first time when I kind of recorded a little bit of this because um, I literally like said what I had to say about certain things, and I watched like a mini of the video, and the audio was going faster than the visual, so I had to re-download um, an episode from GoGo -Go Anime Hub so that I could have it work and it works fine now. Thank God. Um, one thing I do want to talk about is, um, openings. Do the openings sometimes have spoilers on certain characters? Cause we're done with the girl with the emotional crab thing now. Um, and now we're going on to this little girl with pigtails. And I feel like like, I, cause I've seen every single opening and I think there's spoilers, but I don't think there's spoilers. Then another thing I want to talk about is with the situation about the girl who was in my intro and someone telling me about certain things about it, I vaguely remember certain things because, like, like I said, this was months ago. And they just so happened to, I think this was around when I still had my, um, not this channel, but the other channel I had before my first channel got deleted. Um, somebody just, I think it was on, like, a Noragami video. Somebody just put it down and they were like oh hey like da -da 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 about this girl if you've never seen Monogatari and I was like okay um so yeah but I'm glad even though most of everyone else has not seen this yet it's mostly really the Patreons are really excited about this series I am too I have no idea what the hell is gonna happen next but um for everyone and I will say this one more time because it is on the episode as of now um don't go to Kiss Anime, because that's where I got the first two episodes. Go on GoGo -Go Anime, or GoGo -Go Anime Hub. That's where I'm getting the rest of the series and stuff, because if you get lost, please follow the timer that's on my video, and not the timer that's on the screen, because a lot of people are going to get fucking confused about that shit. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started <laughs> in three, two, one, go. Ugh. Not really. The but to you, yes. Okay. Oh, one thing I just remembered. Someone told me that if I read, um, I go back and I read everything, that's not really going to help me. So I was like, okay, I'm going to read it then. I mean, I am going to read it, but I think I'm going to sure read it on my own. Why? Because you're the only one there? So you want to live at the park? Okay. Now, the funny thing is, I hear Yato more now than last week's. But I still think it's Kazuma sometimes. <laughs> Was she in the previous episode? I don't know. It, it's a little weird how they have different openings for certain arcs of these girls. But I, I'm okay with it. I, I mean, they're really cute because I have best girls now. Um... Hanako is my favorite. The um, I don't remember her name, but I'll give you the opening of the song. The person who sings Orange Mint, I love her voice actress. Like she's the amazing, like one of my favorite singers and favorite anime um voice actors. She's one of my personal favorites as well. Um, I don't know who else is right now. No, I like Shinobu. Shinobu is cute, but I got questions about Shinobu. So since we now know that he was turned into a vampire in episode one and two. We're not going to know that ish until the movie, right? So the one thing I do want to say is any questions that I have specifically between episodes one, two, three, to whatever, until I finish the Sam series, if it's not going to be answered in the episode, just say, oh, hey, it's not going to be answered until you watch this series. So that you're not like, still questioning it but yeah she cute though 
but I'm wondering about that god dang backpack. What the hell you got in that damn bag? Ah. Uh? No, S slow down. Oven. Am I already snail part one? Is the book bag a snail? I mean, that would make sense because. What do you think so free? Yeah, like I said last time, like I, they're all gonna fall in love with them slowly one by one. I mean, technically it's a harm, but not really. Yeah, just immediately just look. <laughs> And you saw the girl, right? How? What was it like when you left her? She's still weird in my book, and I like her, though. I think I got a you can be fine if you sit next to him. Are you going to whisper in there? there? Mm, you sure about that? How many friends do you have, Agaragi? I, I think it's just Hanekawa, right? So that's just a one. <laughs> she could be. Because she could have just immediately fell in love with you. Maybe she wants to be friends with benefits. Okay, you just want to be friends. So, you know, calm your horn yourself down. <laughs>
<laughs> really? 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 Mm, yes, Dragon Ball Z. Oh, well, damn, Weekly. See, it's more when he yells, you hear nothing but Yato. Because, like, right now, I don't fucking hear Levi at all. But I'm still saying, Sen, I love you. You kind of still remind me of Yuri from Doki Doki. So I kind of want to. I like you, but then it's like, mm, I feel like she might do something again. But I feel like she's just, she's normal now. And when I mean like normal, she ain't normal, normal. She's just so different. Who's her voice actress? Because I've heard that damn voice before. No! Oh my god, no, no, no. Now I remember. She's fucking Igis from Persona 3 and a couple other things that I've watched. Because I do remember. That's the biggest thing that stood out to me about her. And I was like, oh! Okay. The bell. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, damn, girl, you know everything. Okay. Treat them like they're cats. So then, what, they're cats for this opening? Like, whenever if they get an opening, they'll be cats? Uh-huh. But you got caught. Of course. <laughs> you gotta fight. So then where you want to go? 
You can't just stay at the fucking park all the other day. Yeah. So, send your hotter can't help you with anything. But damn, do we have she had to flare up her fucking not to leave it? Like, mmm. <laughs> You sure about that? I mean, because if this is the show with the erotic toothbrush scene. And then you'll get really turned on about it. Like, mm. What in the Sailor Moon? Damn. And she'll be your girlfriend, Baka. Yeah. So, oh. Hmm. I mean, but he was all freaking out like when he got close to her, and you would think, yes. I want a fucking girlfriend. And then you say no? Oh, okay. 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 Oh, there she is again. Is she lost? Yeah, because you used to be a vampire. So you have, like, better eyesight than regular humans. Yeah, but why would someone like Maya be out here by herself 
What the fuck is she looking for? I'm gonna go to her, of course. Don't be a pervert. <laughs> Fuck you, I don't talk to strangers. <laughs> okay, damn, Bo. <laughs> I mean, I would have been a little shocked if she said fuck you, but. Fuck off, pervert. <laughs> well, okay, hold on. If you go back this time, take what's a face with you. I mean, you know, when you go by yourself and there's a little fucking girl, like, you know she's gonna be a little like, hmm. What the hell are you about to do? <laughs> Yeah, it does. Clearly sounds like a girl thing. I even thought that too, but I didn't say it out loud. Okay. Okay, but like, what's the deal with your backpack? Because that's a big ass bag. What the fuck you got in there, honey? <laughs> you got some like uh you know the the what's that thing that beeper thing that little kids have just in case a, a, a molester whoever comes and be like hey call the police I think every girl is probably going to hate Agarai at first, but then they're all slowly going to fall in love with him. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, damn. One, you shouldn't be hitting a girl, too. That's also a child. Like, uh, that ain't your kid. Oh, my God. Exactly. Yes. Mm-hmm. You idiot. Yes, go ahead. Explain the situation, Upper. You sure? Guilty, not guilty, what the hell? Guess they change the center. Yeah, you trust the girl, right? <laughs> um, my way, that was true, baby. Mm. 
And that counts as touching. Nope. Nope. Exactly. Okay, so why the hell didn't they just say the name of the place? Like, it was just like, it sounded like squiggly <laughs> <going to> lines. <laughs> The place that's on the memo. Okay. I'm the lost child of a snail. No, it's something. Fuck you. Why don't you put continue next time? What the fuck is wrong with you? Who the hell? Why the hell would you aim? I'm the last child of a snail. Snail. Oh, no, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Tell me continue next time. When is this going to happen in a couple of minutes? Okay, so Mayoi is just, like, fucking adorable. I don't know if I would list her as best girl just yet, but she's just that one who's like, oh, my God, you just want to hug her and cuddle her and, like, all the fucking pervert and shit um and stuff just how you know like with kana and kobayashi and i've said this once and i said it again i will kill for kana because kana all the fuckers the rule 30 the yeah rule 34 and them bastards right there if it's a cute girl hell if it's a fucking adult they don't care it's like mm -hmm, yep let me load that's it in a nutshell, but she's really cute. I mean, damn, like, between her and Agarai, like, duking it out like a fucking Tom and Jerry episode, like, what the fuck? Are you serious? <laughs> See, I also feel like this series is gonna end. He's gonna get a girlfriend, and it is gonna be, um, Senjohara. Because as of right now, for me, they have the most chemistry. Now, if there's going to be continuously with more uh, chemistry between him and Shinobu, because I feel like Shinobu is the one who turned him into a vampire, I ain't going to know until the damn movie. Oh, damn, damn, what the fuck? Oh, it's Hanakawa, baby! Episode 4. Last cow. Okay, one more thing I do want to say about this. So, does every girl get, like, two fucking arcs of an episode, and then we go on to the next fucking girl? So, oh my god, I don't even remember who was next in opening-wise, because it's been a couple of days since I've watched every single opening. There is another girl who I like, um... She has black hair, short black hair. Like, she's, like, really different out of all these girls because she seems, like, the weirdest. I just don't remember her name. It's, like, it starts with an O. And her opening is, like, fucking good. I've listened to that, like, way more than Orange Mint and um, Hanekawa's opening. Like, I've listened to those two, like, a lot. But then the, um, I think it's Anwari. Monogatari, I think that's the one. I've listened to that opening too damn much to the point where I was like singing it while I was cooking. And I was like, what the fuck? You can see it's worse when you get a song stuck in your fucking head and you're just like, I want it out of my head and then sometimes you have to sing something else and then that song is going to get stuck in your head and so on and so forth. That's what it was like. But we ain't getting to her until a long ass time. 
So the characters that I really want to see, I'm not going to see until like season two, season three of this show. God, that's a long fucking time away. It's time to talk about spring. It was spring hot. I was a type of uh, uh, what? Circle wrapping. Okay, hold on. You was attacked by a vampire. Hold up. What the fuck? <laughs> no. 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 That's telling the story of him and Sheena Vol, ain't it? Mm. Mm. I just know it. I really like that bag. I kind of want it. Mm-hmm. See, there's times where I think um, Sandra Hada, like, literally is just emotionless. But she had, like, be- but because of what happened with episode one and two, she has emotions, but she's just pent it so deep inside of her that sometimes when I look at her, you know, she's just, you know, no filter. And no filter, like, no, resting bitch face, which is exactly me. Because sometimes I'm like, people think I'm always mad at something when I ain't mad. Mm-hmm. Parent teacher is a future. Yeah. I didn't even know that. Yeah, so that's the parent teacher. (laughs) Yeah, and misunderstood. I mean, I'll tell you this. He's not like typical um, main characters that I've seen in other animes. See, did you even look at the damn memo? That was all like... This show fucks with my mind and I, I love it though. Excuse me. Not true. Yeah, sometimes you gotta trust them feelings. Bullshit. But that's fine. Yeah. 
Or in a car. Oh, well, damn. Fuck. Mm, yeah, cars are good, too. Speaking of which, there's a car. God, she's so fucking cute. <laughs> Do you not remember exactly like where it was? Ah, I got you. Okay. I mean, damn, you two walk so fucking slow. She's already on the other side. She's just sitting there waiting for you. Not really sitting there. She's standing there. I mean, that's me with my mom. My mom got short ass legs. I got long ass legs. And I'm all the way over here. She's all the way over there. And I just look at her like, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, Are we here? Well, damn. My thing is, why is she hiding from her? It's like she's just, I don't want to say scared of her. She's just more skeptical. And she's clinging like the hell to him. Damn. I don't, I don't think it's like that. Okay. Oh, okay, girl. Um. Okay. I'm trying to decide. Well, damn, I mean, um, okay, so you hate kids, Alberto hate humans, um, Shit. But damn. I mean, y'all ain't got like a cell phone or anything to just literally like <laughs> Google Maps something. The the map on iPhone, like that would literally help you. Or maybe you could ask somebody else, but like I mean shit, it's like a ghost town. It's just y'all three. There you go. GPS. Oh, fucking Christ. Out of range. <sighs> See, ain't that fucking weird? Well, because remember, she is the lost child of a snail. Oh. What the fuck was it coming? Mm.
Yeah. Because do you actually think she wants to be alone with her? Remember, she loves kids. And I've never truly met someone who really hates kids. Everyone loves kids. Yeah. Okay. Explain. Your parents got a divorce, right? Okay. There we go. And so you just want to leave your mom. But because you're the lost snail, you can't find her. But you just wanted to go and see her, not just because it was Mother's Day. Jesus Christ, you might break his hands. <clears throat> Poor child. I mean, I understand she was biting your fingers, but you don't have to punch her like that. Shit. Damn, she drew blood. Mm -mm. Yeah. I mean, okay, hold on. Does she have, like, a phone number? Like, come on. I mean, it's modern day. She's got to have a cell phone. Mm. But I think even if she had a cell phone and she called her mom, then they couldn't just meet up somewhere or that would be too easy. Any he heals, of course. <gasps> Hi, Nicola! I mean, it's a Sunday, and she's still in her, like, school uniform. Which, it is a little weird, I mean, typically because they don't have school on Sundays, but maybe she had to do something at school, so I would understand that. And see, I feel like we're not going to learn more about her until a really long time. Is it weird that she kind of pet her like a cat, even though she's supposed to represent the snail? Uh, okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you know where that address is? I, I probably think you may not, but...
Ja. No, 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 but then when you went in your eye, you freaked out, so. Mm -hmm. She had something. She probably had a lot of ish. Every girl who comes in this damn series is hiding shit. <laughs> of course. Where the fuck is Sheena Boo? Thing. It's funny. Shut up, dog. Um, it's funny when they also mention the damn name of the damn anime in the show. Blue, yellow, happy. No, I don't think she will.
Oh yeah, you still want that ice cream? No! Okay, so then she'll be three parts. She's got to be three parts. Maybe even four, possibly. So, I kind of hate the fact that I ain't going to know until episode five and six of how this all is going to end. Because I'm thinking, like, okay, yeah, every girl is going to have, like, maybe two arcs or more. This girl probably got four arcs in this series. So, um, I'm not saying that just because she got four and what's her, um, Sandra Hara has, like, two that she's important than her. It's not like that. But any questions that I now have are not going to be answered until next week. I, I'm, hell, I'm fucking confused about what all he said to him about it. I'm like, mm, mm, okay. So hopefully when Sandra Hara comes back, she can explain it in, like, really good technical terms. That doesn't make me confused, but it's probably going to make fucking Agaragi <laughs> confused as fuck. But, like, mm, I don't, like, see, I feel like they, they, there's going to be a happy ending with this, so she may find her mom. If it's not in, um, of course, in this episode, it is going to be in five or in six if this girl has, like, two more arcs or one more, but I, like, see, it's kind of pissed off because then now it's like, I should have watched this episode three videos together, but it's okay. I mean, it's fine, but it's kind of going to be weird. Like once I get to, if her show, I mean, not her show, if her arc is three episodes long, when we get to the next one, I'm not going to know until the following week for someone brand new and such. So now it makes me wonder, what the hell did she say to make her go wide-eyed like that? That's all. I, I just want her to see her mom. I mean, yeah, it's like, uh, with this episode, or with these two episodes, it's still Mother's Day. So hopefully by the time this episode next week foretolds and goes, that she... That's all. I, I just let her see her mom. Like, goddamn, she gets lost. Because she is a lost child of a snail, and I'm still going to be thinking about that till like, after I'm done watching 100, and after I'm done watching Grimgar and stuff. But it's just, I don't know. Like, it, it's really weird with this town, how only, we've already had four characters in this show, and there's literally no, but, well, no, five. Because, um, kind of what's his face, who just talked in this episode and last week's. There's five characters in this show. This is a big-ass fucking town. And yet, there's nobody else here. We did see the car pass them. But, where the fuck are the people at? Like, this is so weird. <laughs> We've seen his sisters. We haven't really seen his mom. But, I, I don't fucking know anymore. I, it's just who I'm stumped. And, woo. Woo. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. But, I mean, it's a good ass series, so... If she, like I said, if she ends next week, someone else is going to begin. I don't remember who officially opening wise is next. I kind of want to say it's Hanekawa because I want to know uh, everything about Hanekawa, Hanekawa like ASAB because I like her because I feel like she's lying about what she said to Agaragi Kun because I, I don't know. Maybe like, okay, if what's her face is a snail. What the heck is Hanekawa gonna be? Because I, the only thing that, like, uh, I don't know. I wanna say she's something, but then I kinda wanna wait until we get there. Like, how when Agari was talking about his sisters and talking about cats, I'm like, okay, so are they gonna be cats in this series? Like, is that their thing? Because each one is like an animal because Senja Hara had a crab, this girl has a snail. Whoever is next will have whatever. I really don't remember about the girl who I use in my intro. Um, but I, I'm not going to forget that until later on. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 3 and 4 of the Monogatari series, Bakke Monogatari. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day from the Magic Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys all officially next Friday. 
for the Patreons, and next Monday for everyone else for episodes 5 and 6. Bye, guys!